thought you had me running scared, didn't you? Yeah, you thought you had me intimidated. Well, guess what? The last laugh's on you. This is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. And I know this is, is going to sound weird, but you know I'm kind of on the nutty side. And sometimes God uses the kooky people in the world to get some serious points across. I was in the bed last night thinking about what I should talk about today. And the Lord popped an image of this goofy, goofy, goofy looking guy. I mean, he was pathetic looking. And he had a whole bunch of curly, thick hair, and he was walking around pontificating and posturing like a proud rooster. And he looked like an idiot. I I'm just being real. I'm seeing this in my, in my, I could see this. It was so, I wasn't dreaming, y'all. I could see it plain as day. And what the Lord is showing me is there are many of you in the church, out of the church, saved, unsaved, high, low, whatever you want to call it. And you pride yourself in intimidating and controlling people, making them feel like you are the big head honcho, like you are God's gift, and they are to bow and worship and obey you because you are the last word. Baby cakes, check it out. <laughs> yeah, trust me, nobody's taking you as seriously as you think. But see, because you know some of you exercise your superiority on the job place because you know that these people need their jobs. Baby, trust me. God can find a job for them quicker than you even get fired. Trust me on that one. So when you walk around thinking you're all that in a bag of chips, I got news for you. You are insecure. You have a very small mindset. You're very small in stature in the spirit realm. And you walk around casting a gigantic shadow, trying to get everyone to sh trying to get everyone to shake, rattle, and roll at your very approach because you want people to know you are all that and a bag of chips. But see, they know just the opposite. They know what you're not, and so do you. But you're trying to pontificate and exempt exemplify authority and control and whatever it is. It's silly. And you look silly doing it. You see, people have to pay their bills, but that doesn't mean they're afraid of you. Sometimes when you get, and I'm not trying to be mean, but this is what the Lord gave me last night. Sometimes when a smart person or a classy person gets in the presence of a downright fool, they know how to play the game. They know how to talk to talk, walk to walk, and 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 shush you around and make you feel like, yeah, you are all that, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, keep on going. But they know who you're not. They know. And they're biding their time. But see, one of these days, God's going to assign someone to come into your life that for some reason, you will be the one shake, rattling, and rolling. And guess what? You're not going to like it, but you're going to get a big whopping taste of your own medicine. And God will judge you. He will. Because you have made enough people squirm. Now, I don't know who this is for. But somebody out there, God is trying to show you guys, whoever you guilty parties are, that he is not enjoying the way you're treating his people. He doesn't like it. And you know what's sad about that is while you are usurping your authority 
and you are making other people's lives miserable, utterly miserable. What you're doing is you're pumping yourself up at their expense. Now, when you get them in public and you humiliate them, you disrespect, you disrespect them, you berate them, you put them down, you make them, you try to make them feel like a little ant in the presence of a giant. And I guess the giant's supposed to be you. But guess what? As soon as you turn and walk away with your dumpy looking self, guess what they're doing? <laughs> people, and I'm not talking about your looks, I'm talking about your spirit. Ugly people don't stay on top long. They really don't. It seems like they do. It seems like they get away with downright murder. Yeah, I did say murder. But guess what? When it comes back around to you, my mother used to say, have an old expression, what goes over the devil's back goes under his belly. And that simply means what goes around comes around. Get ready, baby, because God's got somebody for you. Now, now check this out. Years ago, to show you what God means when he says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. There was a guy that I was date raped by years ago, and it took me a while to forgive him. But God enabled me to do so totally. Now, here was the comical part. God wanted me to see his sense of humor, who gets the last laugh. Now, this guy was smug. He was arrogant. He was higher than everyone around him. He was the superior being in his own eyes. Now, check it out. But when I saw him at a church of all places, I knew him from the nightclub. I saw him at a church and he was bent over carrying a woman's baggage and the woman was about maybe eight or nine inches taller than he and maybe twice his his thickness and this woman you could tell she ruled the house with a hard or a wrought iron fist or whatever you call it but that woman was that man's nightmare and you could tell he was the one intimidated. He was the one bowing. And she was the one cracking that whip. And when she said jump, he said how high as he jumped. And he was not a happy camper. It was very obvious he was not happy at all. He was not smug. He was not arrogant. It looked like she was beating that crap out of him. So I say this to all of you who like mistreating people and, wa and watching them wither in the public's eye at the sound of your authoritative, resounding voice. Guess what, baby? Yours is coming. Yours is coming because God will have the, have the last laugh. There will come a time where you will see the very people that you put down, the very people that you oppressed. You will see them rise above you so fast, your head will spin. You might even faint at the sight. But God will show you who's who and what's what when it's all said and done. Showdown at the OK Corral, y'all. Everybody's invited because we're going to see your end. And so will you. Now, for those of you who have been oppressed by these kind of bullies on your job place, in your family, by your husband, big brother, big sister, wife, cousin, kid, whatever, or even some old parents still hanging around, don't lose heart. 
As long as you handle things with a loving heart and a merciful heart, God will vindicate you in ways that you never thought he would even care to do. And you will be shocked as you see God having your back. You're going to see it because the Bible promises that we will see what he does to our enemies. So you don't lose heart. Know that God is on your side. He's pulling for you. And when he says, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Trust me, it's coming, baby. It's coming right on down the pike. And it will happen sooner than you think. So rejoice in his love. Rejoice in him being mindful of you. Rejoice in him being touched with the feelings of your infirmities. This too shall pass for you. God bless you, and your change will come. Amen.